In this video, I'm going to be comparing all of the brand new Prodigy Mythical Epics, and we're going to be finding out which one is the strongest and which one would win against all of the others. But before I start the video, please consider subscribing. I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. Also, if you like this video, then hit the like button. Anyways, let's start the video. So, as you can see, here I am in Prodigy. Let me just go on Lamp Light Town before we do it. And basically, I already made two videos comparing uh, the Prodigy Mythical Epics versus the other Mythical Epics. But, in this one, I'm going to be comparing all of them at once. So anyways, let's go over to the uh, Epics right here. The brand new Mythical Epics. And, if you go over here, as you can see, these are all of the Mythical Epics in Prodigy currently if you're watching the future if you're watching this video in the future aura will already be out and probably if you're far in the future also the flora fox and the titus um uh mystical epic versions but anyways as you can see the ones that are currently out are nebula shiver and scorch aquadile arcturion meg mayhem and blast star these are all level 100 just so it's easy for us i'm gonna be comparing all of them against each other and by the end of the video we're gonna know which mythical epic is the strongest even if you are watching this video in the future this mythical epic that i say is the strongest in this video will be will still be stronger than the mythical epics that are coming in the future so anyways let's see which uh mythical epics currently there are first off we got mag mayhem he's a fire type mythical epic he's the magma chief version then we got Blastar is the Big Hex Mythical Epic. He's also, he's a Storm type. Then we got Shiver and Scorch. Although, I mean, they are Chill and Char um, Mythical Epic. But something that's kind of weird is, as you can see, uh, Sh Scorch is Fire and Shiver is Ice. But I don't know why they made them both Fire and Ice element. But they decided to make it only water, so this water, and so is Aquadal, which is the, uh, I for Divodal version. And next up is Arcturion, which is my personal favorite looking one, because it looks cool, and it is the Arcturus version, and it is Ice. And the last one currently is Nebula. Nebula is, um... I forgot the name, Eclipse is version, and it is, I'm pretty sure it's Shadow. Alright, and now we're going to be comparing all of them. So first off, we need to see all their health, and we can clearly see which one has the most health, and that being is Nebula and Blaster. If you see over here, you can see the amount of health all of them have. Mag Mayhem has the least amount, he only has 8 1320 health blaster has 11,628 health shiver and scorch has 10,400 aquadal 9,000 same with arcturion aquadal just has um uh 500 more health than arcturion and nebula also has 11,628 health same as blaster so obviously straight away we could tell that prodigy nebula and prodigy blaster have the most health of all the mythical epics so far i don't know the health that's gonna be for the new mythical epics coming but i do know that this for the current obviously since they have the most health um i'm pretty sure if you go over to your pet book and last page here you can see all of them here and i think since uh blaster and nebula have a ton of health i'm pretty sure that if we click them and go stats yep i was correct basically the cycle in prodigy is if a prodigy pet has a lot of health that has a little bit of power as you can see here nebula only has a little bit of power but a lot of hearts which means in a battle it would uh, survive a long time but it would take a really long time to actually beat the opponent and i was wrong this is also storm just like um big hex if you didn't know storm types usually have a ton of health but barely any damage if you go big hex it's the exact same which is why basically these would um i think these two will be the first ones to lose in a battle against 
all of them each other because they they would last a long time but they wouldn't uh defeat the others fast because they don't have a lot of power so they would definitely go out quickly let me know what you guys think in the comments aquadal i as you can see here has a lot of health but not a lot of hearts it's a pretty normal nothing too strong nothing too weak so i think aquadal would especially since it's a water type water type is really weak in prodigy so yeah, i think it would go out right after these two and next up is shiver and scorch half power half hearts if i'm gonna be honest I think Shiver and Scorch would pull through to third place. And I think that second place would have to go to Arcturion. Because as you can see, it has a ton of power. But also a tiny bit heart. But that is kind of weird. Because if you go over here, we will see... That Arcturion has 9,000 hearts, which is still basically a lot of hearts. So, it has a lot of hearts, but also a lot of damage, but not that much hearts. So, I think it will be last place. And now, that brings me to the last moment. Now, as you can see, Mag Mayhem has a ton, insane amount of power, which leads me to the point Mag Mayhem would win by.